today and they're asking for your thoughts and prayers. Fox Carolina's Amber Worthy is live in our newsroom tonight with a message from her pastor. Amber. Shell, he says that this is a tough time for those who love Azaria. They are praying that that bright smile that you saw in some of her pictures will return after she recovers. Represents uh, hope, clarity, and just peace. And so we know that all these are what Azaria are to us. These yellow ribbons are displayed here at Fair Forest Baptist Church in Greenville, a color they hope inspires other people to hope for Azaria Martin's healing. Pastor Julius Bryant says 13-year-old Azaria was one of five people hit here on Piedmont Highway near Big Creek Lane around 8.30, a scene that shut down the area for quite a while Friday night. Azaria's family says they are praying for her healing. We believe in prayer because we know that God hears the prayer of the righteous. Pray for God to get the glory in the midst of a dark time such as this. But even right now with the prayer vigil, look at how many families have now turned their care, their concern back over to God. They gathered here at the church forming an A for Azaria. They say people are praying around the clock, and they say since noon Saturday, tests are already coming back looking better than when she came to the hospital. Azar is a very strong woman, and even right now, even as we speak, because she's fighting, we're not going to stop fighting. So this thing is not over. We believe that our God uh, is in control. And so whatever we pray for, we pray for his will to be done. And we pray to understand it. And there's no word yet about the condition of those other people who were hit. But the pastor you just heard from says they are wearing yellow to remind them to remain hopeful for Azaria. And they invite anyone to do the same as well as attending the prayer vigils that they will host at the church. When we learn when the next one will be, we will pass that along to you through our Fox Carolina app. Reporting live in the newsroom, Amber Worthy for Fox Carolina News.